we didn't really know what we were getting into, um, but we just kept going. And uh, the first one was the hardest because they were, for me, I guess, so much to figure out technically with copyright and um, legal stuff. Um, yeah. Just figuring, figuring that out was hard for me just because I hadn't done it. I worked in publishing a little bit um, before we got married, but everything has changed so much that it was like you might as well just start over because um, so many things are digital and online and so forth. Yeah. Um, so we, we feel kind of like it found us. We were never like, we're going to publish and start this company, you know, but it just sort of naturally happened. And so now with our third, I'm like, oh, I don't know. I guess we'll just keep trying until it doesn't make sense anymore. But now that we've kind of found our voice, we really like the creative freedom of yeah. being able to go. You know, I, I understand that everybody needs deadlines when you're working for somebody else. And I do contribute to other publications, but when you self-publish, if you get stuck, you can just, sometimes you just Set need to it aside. I know, you know, I'm going to put yeah. you out. And I, so we never feel like we have to put work out there that we're not 100% happy with. And I really like that part of it, too. That's so. great. Yeah, definitely. So the, the control that you have when you're self-publishing has to be rewarding and nice to have. Mm -hmm. So the, the whole putting together the book, what's the most complicated piece? of the whole thing. Just curiosity. Yeah, and for me, the most complicated part is laying out the patterns. Mm -hmm. um, because Eric does all the graphics and all the layout, which is great. Um, mm -hmm. And we have a photographer that we work with. She's a friend of mine. She, her name is Krista Tipman. She lives here in Loveland, too. She is, she's a baby whisperer. She's just fabulous. Aww. So <laughs> it, that's one of my favorite parts of the process is the photo shoot, because she, she, um, has a way with kids and it's photographing kids is really different than oh, photographing kids. Oh yes, definitely. So she's just got a way about her that kids love her and they're relaxed and she just kind of lets them play and she just captures it and it's so precious. So, um, so that part I love and laying out the photos, no problem, but laying out the text for the patterns for me is definitely like the most whoa part because you know, the knitting pattern, if you have a straight comma, a straight period, you leave off a bracket it ruins the pattern. It could potentially mm -hmm. cause a huge problem with the instructions. So I tend to be a little um, cautious when we're doing that part because I'm usually like breathing over Eric's shoulder <laughs> as he's <laughs> out. Um, but I have a pretty involved process with editing the pattern. So knock on wood, so far we've been yeah. good with not having any mistakes or anything like that because I check and check and check and check again but yeah. uh, it's fun to see it all come together but that's the part that I'm like oh, we lose a line of text or you know we have to be really cautious when he's transferring everything into the files so mm -hmm. but then having it all done is so fun so very cool can you give us any um, sneak peeks into your next book do you have any ideas anything you can say <laughs> we do um we have two more, we have a lot of book ideas for down the line, and we have three children, so our youngest just turned four, and we definitely want to do a book kind of about him, but yeah. we just want to get to know him a little better, you know, we kind of know what we're thinking, and we have some ideas that are great for his personality and who he is, but we just want to wait a little while, so that's kind of on hold, um, but we have another children's book, um, little different than what we've done as far as the subject areas, but same, you know, same size and everyone says, are you making it the same size? The same size, yeah. On the shelf, you don't have them all. Mm -hmm. um, so it's another children's book, a new setting, new character, new theme. Mm -hmm. We're going to yeah. work with Brent Sheep again. We've had so much fun with them. Um, and I love, I love natural fiber yarns. Mm -hmm. For me too. They're, that are accessible and easy to take care of. And Brown Sheep just fits the bill for us every time. And I love that their um, yarns are so consistent by the line. You know, so I, I don't think, oh, well, with, if I work on a design that we might not publish for two years, I hope that yarn's still out there. You know, it'll be there. They're right. steady that way. Um, so we have another children's book we're working on. And I have another book that is in my mind. I'll just put it that way. It's a different kind of book. It's not a children's book. And um, it's very near and dear to me. And I'm not talking about it. <laughs> and I know if it'll really happen or not. So I can't tell you too much. <laughs> well, fingers crossed then, because you piqued my curiosity. <laughs> yeah. So, and then I have some other things coming out. Um, 
I have a book um, contribution for a book that I su submitted, uh, the finished piece for it was accepted this spring. I submitted the finished piece this summer. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really excited about that. That's a, a, a book by, um, I, I don't know if I can really say what that is either. Um, I designed a sweater for a book and it's, it's not just a knitting book. So I'll say that. So I'm one of the contributors for that. And um, I have an idea that was also submitted with a, another book proposal that's a group of knitwear designers working together. Can't talk about that either. <laughs> Sorry. And then I have, um, I'm actually really excited because I have um, a pattern coming out this fall that uh, is spinning related. I spun the yarn and designed something out of it. So that really exciting for me because I just fell into spinning last fall our daughter really wanted to learn and she kept asking me to teach her and I'm like I don't know how <laughs> <laughs> so we kind of had this really neat journey last winter of learning together um, and so I'm terribly terribly excited about that shawl because it just means a lot to me personally and I just when you design something and knit something out of yarn that you made mm -hmm. I just it, it, it just blows my mind. I had such a connection to that yarn before I cast on that I, I've never really had that experience. You know, usually I, you fall in love with a yarn, yes. and you break, but it was just such an awesome experience. So I'm really excited about that. And I have another um, pattern coming out in piecework um, this fall in their literary issue, um, and it's inspired by one of my favorite children's books, and I'm really excited about that. So that should be out really soon. That's good. You contribute to a lot of places. I always see you on Ravelries popping up. There's Joanna. There's Joanna. Fun. I had a lot of fun with Jane Austen Knits. I did a shelf mm -hmm. presentation and I just, I just love that kind of thing. And it's for me, it's a good balance because I come up with ideas sometimes that I'm like, I don't think this is ever really going to fit into a framework of something that we're going to do. And so, you know, it kind of gives me a little outlet. Eric and I love working together, mm -hmm. but we both also have other things that we do. So he works um, as a designer for a small graphics company, and he also does, um, he does like old fashioned like lettering. He's really into old style. He did some work at Fancy Tiger here in Denver. Mm -hmm. So techniques, we have this thing that we, we have this like one vision for things we do together, and then have other things that um, we each do on our own and it yeah. just keeps us really it's it's a good balance yeah, yeah. definitely yeah. that's cool so let's talk a little bit about your knitting and um, just knitting in specific what's on your needles right now well I have um, I'm swatching for this dream book that I'm thinking about so <laughs> not very exciting I can show you is just yeah. uh, show us Started. I'm trying to work on it while I'm watching the Olympics and I'm not doing a very good job of <laughs> very well. Um, so I'm just swatching. That's with some Cotton Fine, which is a fingering weight cotton blend that I really like. Um, and we just got done with a huge road trip. We did 5,500 miles this summer. We did like book signings and this big trip. And so I finished a lot of projects on that trip that had been sort of hovering in my studio for a really long yeah. time. Can you knit while, while someone's driving? Oh yes, Eric oh, is good. Knitter. And I'm I knit and I'm also the <laughs> nagavator, which means I nag him about where to turn. <laughs> so when our son, our second son was little, he used to sit in the back of the car and go, go left, go right, go left. <laughs> That's what I sound like. Um, I finished this while we were on the road. It's um it's from the premiere issue of Jane Austen knits. I don't know if you can see oh, it. It's very pretty. Um it's an apron. Mm-hmm. Really pretty hem at the bottom. And the lace at the bottom. Yeah, it's beautiful. I've been wanting to finish it for so long. So I finished up a lot of just projects for us as a family and things that I wanted to do. Um, and I'm also doing, this is in the Lorna's Laces um, Soul Ooh, cute. And it's just a shawl. I'm just getting started. Um, a good friend of mine just lost her husband this summer, so I wanted to do something special for her. So I, after a big trip, I just felt like I needed to do some simple stuff kind of for us and for people we love right now and take a little breather before I jump into whatever happens. Book stuff again, yeah. 